Hey babes, it's Gabe. So today I'm gonna be doing something totally different than what I usually do. I'm going to be doing makeup. And actually, a lot of you guys are the reason why I'm doing this. I put on my Snapchat what I should do for my next YouTube video and literally everybody was saying that they wanted me to do like a beginner's makeup tutorial. So I was like asking people like what kind of beginner's makeup tutorial do you mean? And a lot of people had a lot of different ideas or suggestions and they were saying a foundation routine, how to do foundation with like drugstore makeup, how to do highlighting, contouring, how to do like lashes, brows, stuff like that, beginner stuff like that. So today is the beginning of an entire beginners makeup series from here on out once a week i'm going to be doing a how to be beginner style makeup tutorial and today i'm going to be showing you guys how i do my very natural looking foundation routine and it is nala stop oh my gosh <laughs> my dog will not stop like every time i turn the camera on she just has to Say something. <laughs> okay. Anyways. <laughs> um, I'm going to be showing you guys this very natural looking foundation routine. How to accomplish this look using drugstore makeup only. You will not be spending more than $15 on everything that you need for this beginner's look. So guys, if you want to know how I do my foundation routine. Or if you're just curious how to even do foundation what it even means to do foundation then please keep watching this video and we will jump right into it all right so the first things i'm going to be showing you guys is the three products that we are going to be using today yes only three products and one of those products is an applicator so yeah the first product that we're going to be using is the foundation which this brand is from Fit Me by Maybelline. You can literally get this at Walmart or any other drugstore that you please. But this is a really cheap foundation. It's about $5 and they have so many shades that you definitely will find your correct shade. So yeah guys, Fit Me by Maybelline. <laughs> the second thing you're gonna be using is your concealer. And the concealer is also Fit Me by Maybelline. And these are also super cheap. And you do not need to spend a lot of money on these two products at all. And also with concealer, try and make sure that your concealer, at least for this look, you want your concealer to be at least one shade lighter than your natural shade. If not perfect to your natural shade. Usually you want your concealer to be two to three lighter than your natural shade but that is what I will be talking about next video so I'm not going to get into that right now it's a little bit little bit much so yeah guys these two products is what you're going to be using today and then the third product is just your applicator so I'm going to be using a beauty blender today you do not have to spend a lot of money on the beauty blender there is lots of versions of the beauty blender you can get them from walmart for like two dollars this one specifically was from sally beauty supply and this one was like three dollars so yeah guys you can spend money on the ones from like sephora or ulta and stuff like that but you do not have to i definitely do not but you can also use your fingers or a brush to do this um, I don't really recommend using your fingers just because I feel like using your fingers you get a lot of dirt and oil and all that onto your face and you're tend you will tend to break out more so I will try I would stay away from using your hands and fingers but some people do like to use their hands and fingers and that's okay if you want to use your hands and fingers go for it if you want to use a brush, make sure that whenever you're going to Walmart to get these products that you are looking on the label, it'll usually say foundation brush and you it really does not matter what kind of brush you get to start off with. It, just pick whichever one you think you like. I use a beauty blender 
and I suggest using a beauty blender. It's going to be the best for making you not look cakey and it just gives you such a smooth foundation look. I don't know, I love it. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is wash your face, which I already did. You always want to put makeup on a clean face. And then after that, you want to put on some type of primer or moisturizer. I just use a moisturizer, like a face lotion. And I let that sit for five minutes just because it'll make your foundation um, be a lot smoother and it won't you won't have like cracks under your skin. I personally get dry skin under my face, so moisturizing is a must. I live in Colorado and it is very dry here. So yeah, make sure you use moisturizer and wash your face. Also brush your teeth. I did that as well. So I always brush my teeth right before I put on foundation because if you are going out somewhere and you're getting ready to go out and you do your foundation and then brush your teeth, you're gonna start losing that foundation like around in this area and nobody wants that, no. So brush your teeth before, it'll be way easier. You'll be able to keep your foundation around your lips on. I mean, you could go in afterwards and put more on, but nobody wants to do that. So before you start putting on your foundation, if you are using a beauty blender, you're going to want to wet it a little bit just so that it is a little damp. You don't want it to be soaking wet and then you wanna squeeze any water out of it. And then what that is going to be doing is it's gonna make sure that it's not picking up too much product off of your face. The, pro the product is, or the applicator is already now filled with something so it's not gonna be taking too much off your face. But the point of the Beauty Blender is that it's going to pick up the remaining foundation off of your face that you don't need, which is why you won't be left looking cakey or anything like that. So I like to take my foundation on my hand like this. It's just... A lot easier for me that way to be able to use it and the way that I like to do my foundation is I like to start off with only half of my face by the way guys I'm like looking in a mirror <laughs> behind the camera so that's why I am looking over here but I kind of like to just go and outline basically my face starting from this working way working my way in And also, if you're using like a brush or your fingers, then I do not recommend you using this much foundation. The reason that I'm using this much foundation is because I know already that my Beauty Blender is going to be taking some of it away, some of the product away. So I'm putting a little bit more than I would if I was using a brush or your fingers. If you're using your brush or fingers, I suggest only using like three to four dots of foundation like per section. And I say section because I personally work in sections. I don't like to put it all over my face. So if you're using a beauty blender, you're going to want to dab it if you can see I'm kind of like dabbing it and just blending it into the skin the number one thing that you're going to hear forever and ever and ever when you're learning how to do makeup is blend 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 that's all you need to know blend <laughs> blend is the key to all success in makeup now I'm going to be going over my eye area a little bit with that last little extra that I have. I don't want it to be like a lot. I don't ever dot my eyes with my foundation. Sorry, my dog is like walking. <gasps> I knew she was going to do that. She like knocked over my foundation. Go away. 
So yeah, guys, that is how you apply foundation. Make sure that you are putting it or that you are blending it down into your neck as well. A lot of problems that people have or a lot of mistakes that people make is that they stop their foundation right here on their chin, like bottom of, like, like right here, bottom, starting to the neck. And that is not a good idea. You do not want to look like your skin tone is all of a sudden different, especially if you don't have the correct shade. It is very obvious whenever you do this. So even if you think it's not obvious, it's obvious, don't ever do it. <laughs> So yeah, guys, also if you have facial hair for any men, you're going to want to blend that right into your facial hair as well. Do not skip over the facial hair. It'll also be very obvious that you do not have that same color in that area. If you have facial hair and you're worried about the product being on the beard, you can take like a comb or a little spoolie, which I'll show you what that is too. But you can buy a little separate spoolie from like Walmart or Sally Beauty Supply as well and you just can brush off the remaining product off of your beard and it will be nice and dark again. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna do the other side just like I did this side. sure that it looks very natural I swear every single day people always ask me how I get such a natural look for my foundation how it looks like I never use foundation and I promise all it is is blending that's really all I do different is a lot of people tend to just stop here and it just doesn't look blended and then you can just instantly tell that you're wearing makeup so when it comes to foundation you want it to be as natural looking as possible you don't want it to appear that you're wearing foundation at least not for me I don't know some people want people to be able to tell they're wearing makeup I do not, I want to keep it as natural looking as possible. So, boom, that is your foundation. So, now you are going to be taking your concealer. And honestly, this shade is very light for me. Um, definitely not my shade, but that's okay. You're going to basically put it on the spots that you think needs just some extra coverage. So I have like a little zit coming in here, here, and here, little bitty zits. And it just looks a little bit puffy. So I tend to just do my concealer around this area. I also have acne scarring in, the, in these areas. So I like to cover that as much as I possibly can. And then, boom, that's all I need. You can do anywhere you would like, anywhere you feel like you need to conceal. <laughs> See what I done there? <laughs> then you can do that. And then I'm just going to, with my beauty blender, press that in. Boom. All right, now back to when I was talking about facial hair. This right here is a spoolie. 
Basically, it's on the end of many, many, many eyebrow products. I'm not going to be doing my eyebrows for you guys right now. These are my natural eyebrows, but this is what you can use for your facial hair. You can get these separately at Walmart or Sally Beauty Supply most definitely, and it just kind of like brushes off makeup. But since I did put makeup over my brows, I'm just going to be combing through my brows just like this and just removing all of that product out from under my or out from my brows that way they are nice and dark again and nothing is hiding them and boom there you have it. All right, so boom, this is the finished beginner's makeup foundation look. This is so simple, it is so cheap. You do not need to buy any high-end products to be able to do this type of look. It is just for starting out. Sorry, I'm like putting all my makeup away before my dog decides to like chew all over it. So yeah, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that you learned something, and I hope that this video was helpful for you guys. But yeah, next video, I will be talking about how to highlight and contour on top of this normal foundation routine. I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a wonderful morning, day, night, whatever it is, wherever you are. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.